Switcher, baby. Yes, let's have a look at the switcher element. Welcome here to Learn Brizzy with JP. And we're going to look at one of the new elements that had been introduced in the last few updates within Brizzy. The switcher element can be found here in the add elements, and it is a pro element, both for Brizzy Cloud and the Brizzy WordPress plugin. Before we can bring in the switcher element, of course, we need to bring in a block. So let's create our own block and we leave it as is. I'm not going to drag in a column yet. We're going to see what you can do with the switcher and how you go about working with the switcher. Click on add elements, find friend switcher, click drag and drop, click drag drop. And that's the switcher. In short, what the switcher does is it allows you to build out content under tab one. And then when you click on tab two, you can build out different content. This is very great for those kind of websites that you've seen, especially if you've bought any internet product for website design, you will have the once off deals and then you will have the annual deal. So what you need to put in here is maybe your pricing system if people want to buy an annual license and over here, you can add the lifetime subscription. Let's do that to change the text. You simply select all the text the Brizzy way. And I'm going to say your annual subscription just to give us a little bit of difference. And then we go over to here and we select this one and we type in lifetime license. And we run into a problem immediately because this just doesn't work right. So let's see what we can do here. I'm pretty sure we're going to do that within the settings. So let's go to settings with Yep, and there we go. Easy solution. This is one style. There is more than just one style. So we go to the settings over here. You see the style. Currently, it's like this. And I don't know what we call it, the pill-shaped sign. Or, and then this one is just a toggle button. And now it removed my text. Let's put it back, see if my text is back. Text is still back. So it seems like when you change styles, you also change personas. Your whole life has to start again. You have to type in those two. But I mean, same thing. And if we click here on settings, you have here, now control over the size in your face, baby. Okay, enough, Austin. Let's go back here and put it back on this one that we had started with. Let's leave that styling for a moment. Let's talk about content because as good as it is, always comes with a few buts. And in this case, the great thing about Brizzy in terms of tables, in terms of the switcher, which many other page builders refer to as the toggle element, you need to bring in content within this area. Now, how many other page builders do it is that you actually have to exit here you have to go and create a template on a different page or in a template section or a saved section. And then when you come back here, you click on it, you go to your settings and you load that template. Or at a maximum, they give you a text editor. That's how it works. That is why the Brizzy way is so more intuitive and user friendly because you can bring in anything here. Currently, there's an icon there. Whoop de doo. Let's click on it and delete it just for you to see that when there's nothing in there, you get this familiar bring something in box. And it's at this moment nothing. And then you can go in here, you can grab whatever you want. You can, okay, let's bring in columns first because I think that's a great way to start with. If you have annual subscription, maybe you have three, one, two, three, right? You have three different versions. And then you will bring in a header at the top a heading at the top, and then you will have something under that, etc., And that's how you'll build it up. Then you just click on lifetime license, you do the same. The moment I said click on lifetime license, you may already have thought, hey, so can I just copy this and then put it in here? And that is where I have said the brizzy way, excellent way, and then the butts. That option that you can actually go and create something and save it and then use it like other page builders do just here is great, even though it takes a lot more effort. Here you can just simply on your page build it. The problem is that you cannot just grab this content and say, okay, let's copy it here and then we can make changes to it. But that's not the end of the world. And I actually want to test this. So what I'm going to do, let's delete all these columns. So I'll go to this column and I'll delete and I'll just right click delete for these guys. And we are back here. I'll click on add a new block. 
And what I'm looking for is something with pricing. So I'll select kit two and then go to pricing, pricing over here. What have we got? Very, very year, 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 pricing plans. Very good example to play with this one over here, but let's stick with pricing plans and we bring pricing plans in. And this is a very good example of exactly what you have here. You maybe want to add it here. And that's the first tip. If you want to design something that you want to use it again in the future, design it first in a block. Then you save that block so that it can be here in your block manager and you will find it under saved in the future, right? So that's the first step that you can think of. The second thing is that you need to put all of this in one container. Currently, you can see you have three columns here, but they are not bound into one container. They are three columns and they are independent. So if I want to take these three columns into this area, I have to click drag them like this. And you can do that. But, and there's the thick blue line on the right, and this one then as well. Let me just click drag until you see the thick blue line. And look how easy I did that. And actually many people are often like, what, what, what did you just do there? Pay attention, right? But my problem is if I now want to do the same on this side, then I have to do that whole thing again. So the clue number two is one container to rule them all. I'm going to undo just to show you. So we go to control command Z, one, two, and three. We are back the way it started. What I'll do is I will bring in a row or you can put it inside a column, but I'll just bring in a row. And then what I'll do is I'll build everything out in this row. So I'll do the same thing. I'm dragging these columns into this row. And then these two, I'm going to delete them, right click, delete. And then what you do in the future is you save this. So you save it as a block so that if you want to use it again in the future or on a different page, you have it. But what is important at this moment is that you do everything here. You, you do the whole shebang here. Oh, well, let's say you, you go up here and you do it here. So what I'll do is I'll grab the row and I'll drag that into the container area. And now when I make changes here, and let's make a few changes just so that you can see, let's say we change the background of this one. Right, just to make it look different, then we change the colors of these two. And now what we want is the same layout, but for the lifetime license. What you can do, if you don't have anything else on your page, you only have this, go to the row, settings, duplicate that. And now what you do is you just drag this under the switcher element outside here where you see the thick gray line. Then you click on lifetime license. Let's delete this one. And then you drag it in. So it's a workaround. It's not the end of the world and I think it's okay. But that's how you're going to play around with content. And that's where I wanted to start before we look at the toggle options that you have up here. You are going to fill all of this. So for the lifetime license, let's make a few changes here now, just so that we can see the difference. Let's put this one also then on red. And what we can do is make this one then a different background color. Let's put it on the brizzy blue. Ah, okay, and put this one on white for contrast. Good. There you have your annual subscription and you have your lifetime subscription. And you'll have to go in there with your sculpting tool and make sure that things look a little bit better. Oh, well, not the end of the world. It looks okay now. Let's talk about the other settings then because one thing about the toggle is probably, I'm not sure if you want to toggle it or have it this wide. So let's see if you click here and this is your switcher. I just called it toggle switcher, your settings here. And what you've got here is the settings and then duplicate, delete the normal stuff and nothing special. The settings take you to the normal styling and advanced settings. You've got the same stuff over here. Let's click on the switcher and let's see what the settings allow us to do over here. 
This one is your switcher, and then spacing is the spacing between the switcher and the content. Good. Then T for topography. Well, no surprises and no prizes actually here. That's going to change your font over there. Let's put it on the wave just to show you it can be different. Note the serif, and you have the normal options over here. And then color, you have quite a number. You have the background, you have your text, you have your border and shadow. And then this one over here is active. So active should relate to this one that we currently have. So we can change the color for the active, the background. There's our text and we have border and shadow, right? So that's it. And then this one, the background should be that one. So let's see. No, let's put it on blue rather. Okay, there we go. And then we also just have to go to text and put that on white. And that's how you're going to be working with that. And then the settings, I have shown you that you can do that. But observe that within this, you have also more settings. Over here, you have then control over the padding. And the padding is with inside the switcher. And then you also have control over the corners. So I can actually set the corners to a wanky wanky. Okay, that is a little bit wanky, but very interesting if you wanted to do that. Undo, control Z to get that gone. Now, the beauty of bringing it in within a row is that if this content is too wide and you want to restrict it and make it narrower, the row element has a great feature. Select the settings of the row element, go to the settings, and you will see here the width, and you can change it like so. And that is why I mentioned to you there are so many benefits. When you are working within a switcher, to first put it in one container, like the row. And I recommend the row because the column, if you were to put it within a column, it will not have these features like the width and even height. And then if you go to lifetime license, of course, you'll have to do it the same. And if you had started originally this way, you would not need to go for the second step because you would have just copied it here and then here. And that's as simple as that. I think, you know, I, re I remember the first time these elements like toggles came onto the market. Oh, I was so excited about it. Ooh, you know, you, you get all jittery and thinking, hey, giddy, I'm going to do something with it. Unfortunately, up to date, I haven't used it yet. But that kind of situation that you have subscriptions, that you're going to have different subscriptions, it's definitely going to arise at some point if you are working with it and you want people to have the option between one and two. Now, two things. Let's say you want this one to be open from the beginning to ensure that this is the active window when people come to your site you need to save your page with this one selected. Let's save the page, control command s and preview it on the front end to see whether I am indeed as knowledgeable as I'm proposing to be. You click on preview and you can see by default then the lifetime license one is selected and annual you have to click on. So let's leave it there or let's close it. Let's click now on annual subscription, control command s to save it spinning wheels and then we go preview it and you will see indeed i am so knowledgeable annual subscription this is the one that appears the other thing that i just want to mention here is one of the comments i'd seen on the forum where somebody had actually made a mock-up and i thought it looked so cool of having more than one selector and that is not bad. And I can actually think you can then rename the switcher to selector that you can have more than one. But technically speaking, that's already there. And that is called the table, right? So if you go here and you look for the tabs, not tab, not table, tabs, and you bring that in, you see, you've got same thing. This is a switcher. It just looks different. And you can, where is that? You can put it in the middle like that. And if you need another tab, you're just going to duplicate it. And now you've got more than one tab. So in principle, these two, when it comes to content, behaves exactly the same. The only difference is the styling up here. So I am not impressed when you already have this tabs and then somebody said, oh, we've got a toggle, it's the end of the world. No, the switcher is just the re of this. 
it it just has more styling options up here to make it look like a toggle and a switcher element. But essentially, it's nothing but a, and what did I do now with my tab element? It disappeared. Stranger and stranger, tabs come back. Did I just press delete? Interesting. All right. So in the end, that's it. If you need more than that, you just do this. And while we are here, you're going to do exactly the same. If you are working with the content, grab this one, duplicate it, and save that block. And then what you do is you simply click this one and you drag it with into your tabs. There you have it. In this case, though, right, if you are working like this, I'll probably put it on full height just to make things look the same thing. You can achieve exactly the same effect with the tabs. Again, the switcher just allows you. Hey, before we leave, let's go have a look at how this is going to look on tablet and mobile. That one, we are curious. Let's delete this table element. Save our work, Control Command S. And then I'm going to hit Control minus, Command minus to go to tablet. And you still have the same thing. Here, of course, we'll add more space on the sides. Ugh, and this looks just horrendous. We'll have to make a few changes there to the font size. And let's go to mobile control minus command minus. And now up here, we will definitely need to make a few changes. So we grab here, we reduce the width. And then from here with our topography selected, we will have to reduce that as well. Not bad, not shabby. You've got these massive toggles. Okay, it works perfectly. Janice is happy. We are happy. This is JP then. Hope this was useful. You learned something about the switcher element and how you can go about making nice little toggle elements on your site. For more videos like this, you know what to do. Keep watching and subscribe to YouTube. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you around.